Hello guys, my name is Victor Fernandes, I'm Embarcadero MVP in Brazil and today I want to show you a very nice barcode application running on iOS and Android. Okay, what we have here on my desk, we have several barcodes, different types and uh, we want to read and process all this information. So let's check it out. I will close my camera here and we will play a little bit with the application. So here's my app, I'm running my app and you can see here in the bottom we have a scan button and uh, well I'm going to choose at first just one code just this uh, EAN13 code I click photo and then use photo the application will process the photo to get the code as a string and it also shows me the type of the barcode uh, that it was that we read Okay, uh, now let's do this. Let's scan two different barcodes at the same time. Use photo. You see, the EAN13 is repeated here because I did not clear my list when I uh, read a photo. But you see that we have now the EAN8 code also added to the list. So uh, we can slide to the right and we can delete the the list and we can read as many codes as we want to so here we are reading four codes at the same time and here we are let's now read this QR code and here we are so we have now five codes we can easily search for let's say 012 you see we have 012 here, 012 here, 012 here and uh, if we want additional information we can just click on the item and it will bring the code that we clicked and it can bring more information about your product like the product name, the date that it was manufactured if you have a WMS system, it can give you the street, the correct address in your database. Now you can integrate in whatever ERP system you have. So, this is very nice, very easy to implement. Let's check it out a little bit of the code. So, let's see how the app works. On the right side here, you can see the screen from my iPhone in real time, okay? So I'm going to click in this barcode app here. You can see by the FireMonkey default image that it was done in Delphi. And you have a scan button down here. I'm going to click it on my phone. And when I click the scan button, now you can see the image on my camera, okay? So I have here uh, one QR code that I have prepared. I'm going to take a photo from it. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to click in, in Use Photo. And as I click in Use Photo, the app now processed the image, uh, the bitmap image, and it says here that it's a QR code and it shows my name, Victor Fernandez, and MVP Embarcadero. Okay, this is what I have written in the QR code generator before I print this, uh, this paper. I'm going to scan again, and now I'm going to read the second QR code. You see I have two, I'm going to see, scan the second one. Use photo. And now you see that the app has uh, read another content. I'm reading QR code, Delphi mobile app, iOS and Android compatible. Okay, so let's play a little bit and I have here a box, I have received this box on the regular uh, mail and I'm going to scan this uh, code here use photo and you see it shows 41720 here in the image you see the same number is written here because this is the number that is written in this smaller code and I'm going to scan again and I'm going to scan this other one here use photo and now you see it has changed for the other information here in the image you see the same information here 
Okay, very important. This is a memo component, a T memo component. I can click here and also type test. You see? So it's in text. This is a text information. So the application has processed this image and generated it as a text, as a string. So let's do another test. I'm going to scan. Now I'm going to take a photo and uh, I will have both barcodes in the same picture like this use photo and what happens is that the application is able to identify that I have two barcodes in the same photo and it's going to show the two numbers here as you see 41720400 and du644 okay so it has processed this both barcodes nice uh, click scan again and well here I have some things we can play with let's see this is a box a milk box in Brazil so leite is the word in Portuguese for milk so I have here a barcode and I'm going to use this photo here and it shows the product barcode it's the very same code that the cashier used to uh, sell me the code and check for prices in the market uh, software application. And uh, here I can scan this yogurt. You see here it's a natural yogurt, uh, strawberry flavored. So take photo, use photo. And there you see the code. So let's do another test. I'm going to take the photo with the code a little bit to the side like this, use, and you see it identifies the code and shows no matter what the position is. Okay, very simple application, but very powerful one. So let's see how it's done in Delphi. So here I have Delphi. I have an application uh, running on iOS. Uh, well, the very same code will work both for iOS and iPhone. No need to change a line of code. And, uh, well, let's start from the action list. I added a T action list component. I double clicked the action list. I clicked in File New Standard Action. And I added a T Take Photo from Camera Action. Double click on this one. You will have this item here added to the actions. And you can click in the action and go in the event tab in your object inspector. Here we are. And I added a event called all did finish taking. Double click here. And this is the code I wrote. That's the only code you will need to do this application. No more than that. So how it works. First of all, I have here image one dot bitmap dot assign and I pass image as a variable. What it's done in this line? Well, if you check the application screen, you see that I have a T image, you see here, at the center of the screen. And what I do is, the take photo, the action, and the did finish taking photo action, gives you the image that the user uh, took the photo from. And what I do, I take this image variable and I assign it to the image on the screen. So this is where we make the photo to show in your application. This is the line we need. And after that, all the magic is done by this FOBR1 component that you can see here, FOBR component. First of all, we activate it. Then we assign the very same picture we assign to the image I could just type image here, or I can just use the image dot bitmap that I have assigned to the components on the screen. And I just assign it to a, a picture prob property of the FOBR1 component. After that, I request it to scan the image. So here's where the magic's done, the FOBR component. We will scan the bitmap, and we'll try to find all the barcodes you have and after that, it will generate a list of the barcodes that he found. So I clear the memo one. And uh, if no barcode is found, the barcode count variable will return zero. And in this case, I will add barcode not found to the memo. And uh, 
we know that it was not able to find a known barcode or there is no barcode at all in the image. If the component actually finds a barcode, you will have a list and we can navigate through this list from the very first item to the barcode count last one. And what we do, we add two lines to the memo. We add one line showing the symbology that the barcode was found at. So you see that I scanned both uh, QR barcodes, I scanned code uh, 128 barcodes, I scanned EN uh, 13 barcodes, and I did not have to change any property because the component will do his job automatically. And after that, I just add the text to the lines property. So here is actually the code that was uh, read. Okay, so very easy, very simple, and after I type this code in the action ev uh, uh, event, I have to just add a button and assign the action property of the button to the take, camera, take photo from camera action that I have just created. I compiled the application, I uploaded the application to my phone, and that's the result. So let's try to... Uh, do uh, something a little bit more complex here. Let's take a picture with several barcodes and see how it goes. Uh, okay, I will just put three of these one here. Okay, let's try to have three barcodes at the same picture, different formats. So here you are. Use photo, and here we are. We have this barcode EAN13. We have two code 128 barcodes that were detected. Okay, so I hope you like it. And if you like it, please subscribe, share this video worldwide, and come back soon for more uh, awesome videos showing Delphi apps running in iOS and Android. See you later. Bye-bye.